All right, test number one, 15 pounds of sugar beets. This is what 15 pounds looks like, so we are hoping to get some sugar from that. So after you weigh your beets to find out how much you have, the next step is cleaning them. As you can see, you gotta use a vegetable brush and scrub out as much as you can. So here, is our washed beets, 15 pounds of washed beets, which should give us anywhere from uh, one to maybe two pounds of, beet, of sugar at the end. So we just uh, cut off the tops. You can see here, you kind of have a little, you know, uh, I don't know, you just kind of peel that off. You need to do it with a knife. Special peeler probably won't cut it. And then from there, we have these little chunks, and then we put it through a food processor. And then as we shred, you can see, we have a big pot full of these suckers and we're waiting to uh, our water to heat up a little more. We got a nice pot of water. Then we're gonna put water in there and let it steep. Okay, as you can see, we have a couple, like these two full pots here, full of uh, beets, shredded beets. That's 15, 15 pounds of beets. And we have uh, the tops here, a couple more beets that need to be shredded. So this is our scraps here. As you can see, it's it's uh, 23 ounces, so it's just under a pound and a half of uh, scraps you're gonna have from 15 pounds of beets. So we took the shredded beets, and now we put them in a couple stainless steel pots. Mm -hmm. Now the conversation is whether we should cover these. Um, we're still boiling more water, so these guys weren't covered. I'm hoping that's not an issue. Um, you see some of there's a little coloring there. That's just it's not oxidation. It's just from the uh, the coloring part of the beet. We didn't like peel the beets. If you look over here. We have a pot. You know that's 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 the lid on it. So we'll see if that makes a difference. So what we got here is all our shredded beets. You can see that here. We got some more shredded beets over here. And I'm gonna start cooking down this very dark liquid. So at this stage, you can see I got a couple pots going. There's a little foam on top of the liquid and I'm just gonna skim that off. Usually as a rule of thumb, bean, stock, anything, vegetable, usually you wanna just skim the foam off. That's probably some kind of impurities or whatever. So I'm just gonna skim the foam off and then we're just going to bring this stuff up to a boil and slowly, hopefully, simmer out all the liquid and then we're going to get some sugar. So there's another stage I didn't really realize that when you take the uh, you know shavings out of the pot, they're very, there's a lot of liquid in there still. Um, it's probably pretty cool if you press that. I think in this case, uh, I think something even if you do a larger scale production, uh, Maybe the equipment of like a press, like a, uh, you know, apple cider press might even be good. They get as much liquid out of these uh, beet shavings as possible, which can go into your beet, uh, into making beet sugar for uh, having better yield. So as you can see, we got another pot here. It's at what I guess I call the, the bubbly stage. You can see it kind of really bubbling up pretty high there. Uh, at this stage, you really want to kind of keep an eye on it and stir. It takes a while to get to this stage, but once you do get to that stage, you want to really look after it. You don't want to let this thing stick to the bottom and burn. Um, almost at this stage, it really can be done. It's, it depends really like how syrupy you want your uh, molasses sugar, which is seems to be what you're going to get from this process, not really the crystal sugar. And after a couple hours, look what we got. We end up having about three cups of molasses. I guess that is around 10%. Well, actually, probably about exactly 10% of molasses. Uh, we're looking at about uh, 13 and a half pounds, so uh, maybe even a touch more. But it's not crystal sugar, that's for sure. But if you look really closely, you'll see, well, it's kind of bubbly, but that kind of is starting to create a crystallized form on top. Alright, this has been Brian and we have been making molasses sugar out of sugar beets.